Right. That, well, that, might, that might be why he picked Blaziken. Yes, okay. So it's gonna be Darkrai versus um Blaziken. I was kinda questioning Blaziken a little bit because um Picano has um also mains breaks and that's traditionally not a very good matchup. I assume he would go to Sidui, which I can assume would be better than against uh, better than Blaziken. I don't know, it's, I, I think I heard that um he does not mind the Dark Ride matchup nearly as much for Blaziken, so let's see how this turns out. Alright, so we're just trying to get in right now. Kind of putting up some traffic, not quite getting a whole lot out. That's the thing about um, Dark Ride that the speed he can put up his traps is just incredibly slow. And if the, if their opponent knows that they can just approach in and just put on pressure, it can be a little bit difficult. But now, Kano's kind of very easily getting traps up right now. And Fumu is making very, very nice use of his high fans to be able to go through those um, Dark Pulse and not have to take that chip and go into a nice situation. Alright, Fumu does get the re-grab right there, and it's going to be a crit, putting him in an advantageous field position. And to be a little bit wary of foul play, uh, not foul play, nasty plot, which is a very strong command encounter, if it lands, it's a pretty nightmare mode. But kind of just cannot get his advantage, and that is a crit, is that going to be it? Yeah, with the attack buff, that is going to do it right there. Alright, uh, yeah, Fumu has, I think Fumu said he was practicing this matchup recently, so I think he is very, very well comfortable playing against this Dark Knight right now. Kano just cannot get his steps going. He does have Rush Ram on the back, though, which can uh, get him, give him a lot of distance if Fumu just uh, respects it. Alright, so now Fumu just sitting patient. Um, the air trap there is just making sure he cannot um, JY through or air dash. Oh, able to get through just in time, though. In this scenario, but now. Kano has the advantage getting those counters. Fumu has not landed a single hit yet this round. Oh, this can be interesting. I believe Pekano's going to win this with Rushy Ram. Let's see. Oh, yep. There we go. That's going to land. It's a pretty major attack to Fumu, but he, Fumu does have EB. He wants to cancel it out. Fumu not falling for the grab setup right there. There we go. There's EB. Okay, can't. Oh, Rushy Ram's EB just um, went out of the way. And that's going to land right there. And going to be some big, big damage with the attack buff. Now it's gonna really be hurt. This is all gonna waste away his burst right now. Maybe not leave enough left to get left the attack and rip. Alright, Fumu just using that speed buff to his advantage right now. Around. But now Pakano is putting him in the corner here. And now he's approaching with counters. Not quite sure if I agree with that. Uh Pakano's kind of baiting for something right now, and Fumu just not falling for it. Alright, but he did get the double buff there from his release A. Ooh, this is big right now. Kind of in a very nice situation. I mean, this, this is so close right here. Both players just need one last hit. Oh, and the Dark Pulse right there. Gonna snag that big, uh, round right there. And going to the last round here. Kind of definitely finding his footing. Getting able, being able to really start off that round really strong. Took Fumo a long time to get in. And when he did, he's not able to blow up quite as much as he wanted to. No, has respect to Cresselia uh, here. Not sure if I agree with that. I think Rushing Ram was a really, really solid pick since it creates so much distance. Right. Ooh, okay, so now Fumu putting on the pressure back in the way, just trying to fake something out right now. Again, very smart use of the high sensor. And actually destroying the trap with his JY. Very, very smart right now. Fumu now putting on some pressure, but now Pokemon getting out of that pressure with his burst. Let's the attack rip, but just out of range. Fumu doesn't have to take the chip. The counter. Fumu is on the edge of his first attack right now. Oh, there you go. He has it. Gets him health back. So much great health from Fumu right now. Fumu is gonna hurt. Oh, because of first range, the actual attack got a little bit whipped. Is this gonna connect? Oh, I don't. Is this gonna kill? But I think it's gonna kill. I think it should. Um. Oh yeah, that that should be it. That should be it. Yep. All right. So Fumu taking the first round there. Kind of definitely putting up a good fight. However, Dark Ride is not able to get out of um, Fumu's pressure. So let's see if uh, <laughs> let's see if Pakano switches to breaks, and that's something that I uh, I expect Pakano to switch to breaks. He doesn't usually stick to Dark Ride for a whole set. All right, so now Fumu is character lock. He is gonna have to do this with Blaziken. This could be a little bit more difficult now. However, right, he does have more matchup experience against this um, breaks, and due to Pakano being a long-time player. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Kano's probably running his standard Evil Volga, which can be pretty, uh, can be pretty bad for it to get hit by, because that speed deal can just last for so long, um, and that can be really detrimental to the Blaze King. It, 
because he won't be able to move through so much. Kind of like the first round here. Ooh, excellent anti-air by Fuzu. That's a grab crush. There's gonna be some big damage coming on the board. Fuzu just playing out all the power right there. Is trying to make something out here. Ooh, and that blaze kick is gonna snag it. Oh, I like the idea of Sky Africa, but it's gonna be a nice punish. Five Kano playing some nice sneaky buffs. Now Puma has to work through all of these projectiles with lower speed than usual. Ooh, JY not able to snag out some vulnerable frames, and Puma is paying the price right now. Kano just putting up a nice, nice, excellent comeback here. We're gonna go off, off the first right now. Find some Oh, now he's there. Both players in their burst modes could be scary. Oh, excellent movement by Fumu, and that is going to connect. And yeah, that's gonna kill. Excellent work right there. Fumu's in a very dangerous situation. We had such low health against characters like Breaks and like Dark Ride. It can be so difficult to try and approach them without taking any hits. But Fumu excellently maneuvered around all those fireballs and was able to snag that victory right there. Very close though. Talon did have to waste his first thing against Fumu. Both players seem to be running. I don't know if it, um, I know Fumu for sure. I think Kano is running uh, Synergy Shiro. So hey, support Shiro, I'm not sure. Oh, there's the Molga. Nice and early there. It's going to really, really hurt. Excellent. He's, again, high stance against that side beat. Very smart. That's what boosts Synergy as well. Uh, it's just being a live pop. Excellent Sky Africa anti airing that approach. Flame charge. Brock here coming out to play, open up some situations. Oh, not able to snag another wall spot though. Alright, so Fumu now has his burst active ready, so he's able, gonna be able to counter if he gets into a sick situation. Sky up is too slow there to get JX. Uh, throwing out the, the side fire drop that he is. The name of it. Alright, now Fumu is ready to roll. A little bit of a blaze trade doesn't sound not able to capitalize off of the single bit. Excellent setup with the flame throw. Fumu has to work through all this. He does have Rock here at the ready when he needs it, and he's gonna go ahead and pop it. Oh, not able to come off it. There's the grab. He's gonna do a hefty mount, but not quite finish it. Oh my god, that's way more than I thought it was. Alright, Fumu still has that speed debuff. This could be rough. Now he just needs one more hit, and there's a the grab right there. I think Fumu actually attempted to do a JY instead of a grab, so that could have been what happened there. Because I don't imagine Fumu would wake up grab. It's not something he typically does. Alright, now so here we go. Alright, able to land that flare blitz. Alright, Fumu already has um probably at the ready, most likely to do a special cheer. Excellent! High stance right there. It'll get so much synergy off of armoring through that core line. And Fumu is in a nice situation right there. His matchup knowledge is really, really starting to show. Oh can't take it from here. And there's the counter piece right there. Fumu in such a good position, and there's the heat wave snagging that counter and able to beat it right there. Fumu taking the game 2-0. Very impressive. I, I must I must commend Fumu for his matchup knowledge right there. High stancing through the um, side beams and forward wides. That was very, very smart stuff. Good stuff to Fumu.